those amazing suits. Which suit, Joker? My shadowing or my awesome tech shield suit? Take off! I've even got a suit for you. I've always liked stripes. The Dark Knight Collection, each sold separately. Batman, the legend lives on. Now, for the price of one Dark Knight Collection Batman action figure... You can get two! Wow, it's like getting a second figure free. Check for details at participating stores while supplies last. Offer ends May 1st. Hello, welcome to the Nostalgia Funhouse. I'm Johnny. He's Andrew. Andrew, happy 100th day. Yes, 100th episode of the Nostalgia Funhouse. We made it. We did it. Yeah. Uh, there's a lot of shows cool. that there's a lot of shows that don't get 100 episodes. No, but we stuck with this. We're sticking with it. Yeah. Yeah, and I am proud to say we're the only podcast that has 100 episodes and is brave enough to put venom in his place <laughs> which is behind j jonah jameson i saw good old gary t when he said he was kind of triggered by this so <laughs> i'm gonna have to message him uh later on and be like what were you triggered by and if when you listen uh i'm pretty sure you heard us mention you a couple of times <laughs> Yeah, uh, we we dare any other pop culture related pod, uh, podcast to be that brave. I still think about it at least once a day that you refer to Jane Jonah Jameson as the Bobby Heenan of yeah. the Spider Man <laughs> universe. That, it tracks. That still is lives run free in my head. Like, yeah. I'm just like that was an amazing analogy. Like, yeah, thank you. I get those every once in a while. I'll knock one out of the park like that. Uh, but yeah, episode 100. I'm pretty proud of us that we've done this. Yeah. Uh, we uh, appreciate all you who've joined us on this journey, who listen to the show, who get annoyed with us when we make amazing, brave choices uh, like we did last week. Hey, we're doing another tournament today. Could there be another J. Jonah Jameson hiding in the ranks here? <laughs> I don't know. I just know that uh gary t is a great listener because even though he does get triggered by this he doesn't make a big deal he knows that it's just yeah just for fun it's just for fun yeah and we're a couple of goofs so yes we are and, and gary is very awesome we well, appreciate you gary uh but uh, yeah let's do this today of course we're continuing our spider-man v batman month and last uh, week we of course did spider-man's uh, rogues gallery so uh, obviously we got to do batman's rogues gallery tournament today yes and this was much easier <laughs> oh my best yeah yeah much much easier <laughs> i can tell you that much when i was going through this stuff but our well, batman way- batman also had like a 30-year head start on spider-man too true I mean, Batman came out in like the late 1930s, and Spider Man was like in the mid to late 1960s. So, oh, well, you can't get into age. <laughs> yeah, it's just a number. That's what uh, Leonardo DiCaprio says. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. Uh, but our first matchup here, we have Two Face versus Owl Man. And like, so we are going by pretty much most iconic. Yeah, yeah. So this is Two Face easily. Yeah, I think a lot. Unless you're like a really deep uh, Batman nerd like me, you might not even know who L Man was or is. Uh, Tasha Al Ghul. I'm pretty sure it's just butchered that name. And Man Bat. This is a good matchup here because Man yes. Bat famously was the first villain in the animated series. Yep. And so he- that's why. I- also a good little side quest in I think one of the Arkham games. Yeah, that are absolutely amazing. Yeah, you gotta catch them and yeah. Because you're trying to bring them back to the doctor he is. He's sort of the the we're lizard. Our next episode. We should think about that. Who has the better video games? Oh man. Oh, it would be oh wow, yeah. They have some we're only gonna have a little bit of time to go over to talk about these. Yeah. But uh yeah. <sighs> Both of these are fairly iconic. I mean, she's Raish's uh, daughter and the mother of Bruce Wayne's child. Uh, so you know what that means. Her Bruce bumps muglies there. 
Yeah, he uh, two people on this list. He's kind of uh Oh yeah. Bruce gets around. Sure he does. You don't care if you're an enemy or not. Uh I get it, man. They wear all these tight clothes. <laughs> enemies with benefits. Yes. <laughs> or frenemies with benefits, yeah. Frenemies. <laughs> Uh, I think this is a toss up, honestly. I'm I'm leaning toward Man Bat just out of my love of the animated series. Let's go with Man Bat then. Are you robbing a bank today or are you coming over? <laughs> we got Joe Chill. If I'm so this is the man that killed Batman's Bruce. parents. Yep. And yeah. Scarecrow. All right. So without Joe Chill, we technically don't get Batman, but I think in the big scheme of things, Scarecrow is beyond iconic. Yeah. Uh, so I'm going Scarecrow here. Uh, I mean, and uh, he is incredible in those Batman Arkham games. So very disappointed that you did not make a Wizard of Oz joke. Oh, he does not deserve that. Uh, he's just too good of a villain. This is Hush. I want to say. I'm yeah, it looks like Hush. Yeah, and Croc. And Killer Croc. Uh, Hush. I think you know, you probably know way more about Hush than I do. So. Yeah, he's, if I'm remembering correctly, because there's a whole, there was a whole Batman story arc in the comics with Hush that I highly recommend. I got it somewhere in my comic book collection. And I think he ends up being like uh, <clears throat> Bruce Wayne's best friend from when they were younger or something like that. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> if I remember correctly. <laughs> Uh, but keeping something Johnny's going off of memory just so so if I correct Johnny I'm the idiot that needs to read and Johnny actually knows what he's talking about I'm a giant Batman nerd here so I'm trying to earn my cred uh, and Killer Croc though to me is the more iconic of the two I think if you ask somebody to name a uh, a Batman villain out of these two which one they're going to name before it is Killer Croc would come out first I think I would say Killer Croc also Clayface and Solomon Grundy. Oh, man. Now, this is a matchup right here. Like, I really want to see this fight. (laughs) One of my favorite things was Cartoon Network was doing a thing, and it was like they were kind of like dubbing over stuff, and one of it was the old superpowers. And somebody was like, they'd one of the, like, it was like the bad lip reading type deal. Yeah, one of, the, one of the guys mentioned something about pants, and this still sticks in my head to this day. Whenever I hear Solomon Grundy, because out of nowhere, somebody does the Solomon Grundy voice. It was like Solomon Grundy want pants too. You know, <laughs> and I don't know. Why. <laughs> and also going with it, uh, Will mentioned this, and then we mentioned this. These are very similar. We got Solomon Grundy, and then you have Tombstone, who look yeah. very very similar. But yeah, this is kind. <laughs> But Solomon Grundy has a catchphrase, though. Solomon Grundy, born on a Monday, you know. Yeah. So, uh, but, and he also again, has pants, too. Yeah, and, I mean, he has pants in his picture. Uh, but I will say, though, Clayface has the better storylines of Batman. I mean, even, I mean, those animated series, we watched them and reviewed them earlier on this yeah. show. They were really good, so I got to go Clayface here. Wasn't Solomon Grundy, like, murdered by the mob? I, it the. <laughs> Again, it depends on which version. I mean, oh, Batman's been around forever, and all these characters have so many different origins by now. But I believe it is one of those. Yeah, okay. but it's a humongous man, or what, or zombie, whatever you want to call him now. I'm gonna, I'll go Clayface. Yeah, I think it's Clayface. Uh, Killer Moth and Jason Todd. Okay, uh, Killer Moth is underrated, but. You got to go for the Red Hood, Jason Todd here. Uh, he does become a good guy eventually, more like a, a Punisher type character. But Jason Todd's got a very interesting backstory, of course. He's the Robin uh, at one point after uh, everybody voted to die. That everybody wanted to not, Am I correct on that? You're very correct. I remember as a kid in the comics, they uh, had a storyline set up where Joker was. Uh, he had captured Jason Todd, and they left it up to the readers. Hey, vote yes or no. Does Jason was it like you called a number and then all? Yeah. That? Does he die? And people said, "Yep." <laughs> this is two. This is what he's the second Robin. Right. Yeah. 
So, you know, you got Dick Grayson all those years. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And so Dick he's Grayson's amazing. You and I both love Nightwing. Yeah. Nightwing's this is my ultimate favorite DC character. So, yeah. And so Jason Todd came in and they were like, yeah, kill him. Maybe we can get a uh, good old Dick Grayson back. Yeah. Yeah. We all love Dick. We get it. <laughs> There we go. There's the yeah, I got you. I got you. Uh, ring the bell. Take a drink. I, I'm going to go Jason Todd here, though. Okay. The Riddler versus the Court of Owls. Okay. It's going to be the Riddler, but hear me out on the Court of Owls. The Court of Owls are very good. If yeah. I, the, 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 um, when DC rebranded with the new 52, uh, I st- but thankfully that was right in the height of my comic book collection. So I have all these. Uh, but it's when Scott Snyder and Greg Capullo, I'm probably saying his last name wrong, who's doing the art, started started on the Batman books, and they are by far my favorite Batman writer and artist put together. They're so incredible, and they created in the first books, the first villains he fought was the Court of Owls, and it's so good and so spooky and scary at the same time. God, they're so good because it's basically like a literally a cult of like higher standing individuals and you don't know who they are because they're all hiding behind masks and there's a bunch of them. But then you have the Riddler who is the going Riddler. just on the icons. You know, it's 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 Riddler. Uh, next up, Bane versus the Joker. This is kind of unfair. It's unfair to Bane. It is. Who again, just like in the movies, is getting the shaft here. <laughs> so as I'm doing, the, as I... As I'm going through and I'm uh, d- doing this, I just realized DC and like the 90s was like, nope, your childhood heroes need to be destroyed. Superman, yes. you need to die. Batman, you're getting your ass broken. Okay, buddy, <laughs> you just yeah, your back broken. <laughs> and Bam- that's an I that did it. to this day, that's an iconic comic book. For me, that I saw in a, a food line grocery store <laughs> uh, back when they would carry comic books, and it was just Bane literally bending Batman over his humongous knee, and I was like, I have to find out what this is about. And if you actually read the story about Bane, he's not just a big brute; uh, he's actually incredibly intelligent, and he had softened Batman up by sending a bunch of villains after him before he even got to fight Bane. So Bane's also a master tactician on top of it. Yeah. Uh, I'm trying to get Bane always flowers because Joker's winning this. Yeah. Also, I don't think Bane's been 100% like awesomely represented in the movies. Right. I, I, I do think that, well, it's not even fair because in the original, uh, the original movie that he's in, he's just a big idiot. Yeah. That's what I didn't like. Yeah. I hated that. At least in the in the uh, Nolan verse, he's at, he's at least more of a a fleshed out character a little bit more. But still, I wanted more Bane. He's basically like a lap boy in that too. Uh, but yeah, that's not who he is. He's uh he's out to take out Batman because uh, he's sort of like the ultimate prey and he wants to take him out. But it's Joker's winning this. I mean, don't I need to say it. No, nope. Two Face versus Man Bat. I think Two Face is Two Face. Yeah. Don't even need to flip a coin there. Nope. Oh, that'd be cool. Why didn't we flip a coin? Uh, Scarecrow <laughs> versus Killer Croc. You know, if we're as brave as I say we are, we should have flipped a coin back there. <laughs> <laughs> and whatever happens, happens. Scarecrow for me here. Yeah. You know, now that I'm looking back, because first kind of Batman media on TV for me, other than like, well, there was the cartoon which had Scarecrow, but like live action Batman, mm-hmm. obvious. Well, is Adam West? Yeah, and there was an, I as far as I can remember, there was no Scarecrow as iconic as he is. I, you had what King Tut and Egg and, and Egg Egghead, egg head. yeah, egg head or Egg Man. I can't remember. His, yeah. yeah, but no, I think he might have been too scary for that show. <laughs> Yeah, uh, which is which is funny because they had the Joker on there with, but it's a obviously a very cartoony version of Joker. Yes, and he played baseball in the yes. uh, fantastic mustache. 
Uh, Clayface, take a look. I think he's the most underrated Joker. Caesar. I, I absolutely love him. Uh, and, the, and the guy that played the Riddler. Those guys were, if you. Oh, yeah. I wish I could find it because I wish we could review it. Is the 1960s Batman movie. Oh, the one with the where like they're the beginning of it. He has to have the shark Batman shark repellent. Yes, to get the shark off. <laughs> that and there's and he's running with the bomb and he's there's nuns everywhere. <laughs> we saved up video factory dollars so my dad didn't have to pay to rent it, and I watched that thing all weekend long. But uh, our next matchup is Clayface versus Jason Todd. It's Clayface, yeah, or Jason Todd. Uh, Riller versus oh Riller. my god, talk about a showdown! This is an ultimate one here. Riddler taking on this again. This in the early rounds, this yeah, could have in an alternate reality been our last two, really. It, uh, just man. to clarify, I don't, I just randomly put these together, yeah, yeah, fill in slot. It's a random thing, yeah, that's that's my sex life. Uh, I want to go. <laughs> We're gonna go with Joker. Joker, yeah. Joker, Joker wins, but this is a good god, what an iconic battle here. And then... Oh man, another... oh Andrew my god. Scarecrow. All right, now I point. think a lot of people are gonna go two face. I'm going scarecrow on this. I think it's scarecrow. He's much he's a much more disturbing villain, in my opinion. Scarecrow. Oh, yeah. Okay. As good as um, Clayface versus Joker. Joker. Joker, yeah. And Scarecrow. Versus... Oh, man. I gotta go Joker. It's Joker. But the reason, the other reason that Scarecrow to me is such a wild and underrated villain in Batman is because he's actually incredibly intelligent. Yeah. And he's not, and I don't think there's that, and he's doing stuff on purpose, if you know what I mean. Like everything he does seems like a, you know when he's trying to see people's fears and study it. There's something more creepier about that to me. Joker's just absolute madness. I like the Joker. It's Joker for here though. No. All right, we're on the oh other side. Oh my goodness! Now. Why did they do this to us? Oh man, Mr. Right. Freeze versus the Penguin. Okay, uh, man. I'm I have complete biases here, and I'm gonna go ahead and admit it. My favorite villain in Batman is Mr. Freeze. So he's gonna win for me here, but Mr. Cobblepot should not be underrated. Uh I mean, what did I uh, both these are iconic. And in my opinion, the Danny DeVito penguin is also severely underrated. Yes. He was so good as a penguin. I oh, mean, he was really creepy. Uh, but uh, yes, yeah. uh, but <laughs> Rocky and also tried to kill Batman all in one career. Shout out to Burgess Meredith. That's right. That's right. Oh, and um, was the father in Grumpy Old Men? That's yeah. That had uh, bacon, bacon for lunch, <laughs> and a bacon sandwich. Ah, uh, another great movie. I will give this to you because I have a feeling I might fight you later on. All right. Well, Mister Freeze also. Uh, to me, he has a more tragic and interesting backstory. So, and he has never been f- well represented like he was in the animated series when it comes to movies. I uh, will say he's pretty good in the Arkham games, but the animated series is where you need to get it, get his story for sure. I like he, they don't really say his story, but in the '60s Batman, I thought he was pretty cool with certain things like oh, i'll see what you did there he's pretty cool oh i did not mean to do i'm moving on <laughs> he's very <laughs> he's, moves on. he's very chill <laughs> ventriloquist versus dr hugo strange all right this is another good matchup but i think just on a creepy level i'm going to with the ventriloquist i will go with the ventriloquist too just because another great animated series thing that really yes expands you and it's really actually tragic because the guy behind the ventriloquist was is like he feels like he's trapped. Oh, here we go. Yeah. Carmine Falcone and Catwoman. It's Catwoman. Another one that uh Bruce Wayne kind of I don't know. Uh-huh. Deathstroke versus Harley Quinn. 
Uh, this is not fair to Deathstroke because he is actually a really great villain, but it's Harley Quinn. I'm kind of like letting Johnny take over. <laughs> <laughs> Zaz, who I thought was amazing in the TV show Gotham, versus KG Beast, because you know how I love my Cold War, Johnny. Oh, yeah, we all do. Yeah. <laughs> Get under the desk. <laughs> Uh, yeah, uh, it's Zaz. Literally, all the marks on his body is from a person that he's murdered. So, I gotta get, I gotta get that with that maniac. Go with Zaz over KG Beast. Calendar Man versus the Mad Hatter. So, oh man, I love this matchup. <laughs> I don't. This is probably one of the most even ones that we had. I'm more biased towards the Mad Hatter. Uh, oh, Mad Hatter's winning. I yeah. agree. Just because I cared less about the Mad Hatter in Alice in Wonderland, and then I discovered the Mad Hatter through like the animated series, yeah, to the point where when I went to Disney World, I bought a Mad Hatter's hat because I just and it wasn't for Alice in Wonderland, it was for because of the Batman, Batman villain, which I thought was absolutely cool. I, I mean, Keller Man's okay, I do believe that's who they were pinning on. What was it? The the last thing I read of Batman and it's older than dirt was the long the long Al- Halloween. Yes, yeah. And that's pretty much who they were pinning all the stuff on was Calendar Man, but yeah. I gotta go Mad Hatter. Also, Mad Hatter is just a better name. Yeah. Than Calendar Man. <laughs> uh Poison Ivy versus Deadshot. I, I, I mean Poison Ivy is by far the most iconic out of these two. Uh, Ray Shagul versus Condiment King. All right, hear me out. No, <laughs> oh, <laughs> I will hear you out, but the answer is already no. Just like yeah, the answer is on this morning. The answer is already no, but I will hear you. Be, out. Andrew, you be brave. We're a brave podcast. I cannot. Put which it. which is scarier? A man who can seemingly live forever if he keeps dropping himself in a pit, and a or, deadly assassin, or I submit to you a crazed man who has guns that are filled with mustard and ketchup. If this is who I would rather bring to a cookout, <laughs> Condiment King all the way. Even it's though, Condiment he, King. Is who's winning this? Ghoul would probably do some cool party tricks, but I don't think Ray Ghoul would be much fun at a cookout. Condiment King, on the other hand, he's got the ketchup, he's got the mustard, but since we are going most iconic and you know, yeah, we're going most iconic. It's obviously, and since I'm cool. running the, I'm running this show. It's oh, yeah. Condiment King. <laughs> good thing I did. Good thing uh, we ought to. He's play. got like a pickle on his head, Andrew. <laughs> I didn't even look at the picture. Again. I was done. I was done listening to. It. I can't believe that you're such a wuss that you would not back me up. <laughs> the Condiment King moving forward. This is how much I value my friendship with Johnny. Is that was his one request? He was like, "I'm pretty sure you'll find me. it's the guy that I left out." Out of all the villains in Batman's Rogues Gallery, I did tell Andrew the only one I want to make sure you have is Condiment King, and the one that I did leave out that probably would have been better in that position is Gentleman Ghost. No, no, it's Condiment King all the way. You made a smart decision there, my friend. I'll send you the link when we're done, Johnny, so that way you can just do this. And... You backed the right horse in this case is all I'm going to tell you. Oh. <laughs> that, was, that really was my one request. <laughs> that was like, the not even one for Spider-Man, not even like, hey, I want this guy here to do Spider-Man. I went out of my way to tell you, hey, make sure you have Condiment King. I think he told me twice. <laughs> yes. You gotta make sure he's here. He doesn't get the love he deserves. Good old condiment king. <laughs> uh, uh Mr. Freeze versus Ventriloquist. Uh this is a uh, it's, it's Mr. Freeze for sure. Yeah. Catwoman versus Harley Quinn. Oh wow. Yeah. Wow. Is that because you're looking at the picture of Catwoman? Um, well, both of them are very attractive. Uh, uh, oh man, this is this is tough. It's Catwoman. I, I don't know, man. 
state your case. <laughs> Did you, but you came up with one so quick for Convict Gang, but you can't go. Up my with okay, my case for Harley would be that she uh, starts out as a like a psychologist, right? Who loses her mind and falls in love, like legit love, with the Joker of all people, who is not capable of remotely ever because she's so she's actually fairly tragic of a character. Yeah, but uh, if we're going iconic, it's Catwoman. I, dude, I don't know. I'm telling you, when the animated series came out and Harley Quinn was invented, uh, she just started with a rocket on her uh, incredible butt cheeks, and she's yeah, going. she's become a pretty. Lady. And and I think if you go by today, uh, this is way closer of a matchup than you think. If yeah. you would have, if you would have asked in like the '80s, early '90s. Catwoman easily, but today this is a closer toss up to me. I'm okay with Catwoman moving on, but I just want to say this is a really close matchup. It wouldn't be us if we didn't do this. Harley Quinn for the win. <laughs> <laughs> then Zaz versus and the Mad Hatter. I gotta go Mad Hatter. I really love the Mad Hatter. I do too. I do too. He's the and he's you know, he's got a special place in my soul called animated series. So I'm agreeing with you, Matt Hatter. Ray Shagul or Poison Ivy. This is Ooh. I think a lot of people don't realize this is closer than what you think it is. Right, yeah, I would agree. I'd agree. Man. I'm almost leaning towards Ray Shagul. I'm going to lean toward Rache because it's not just him you're fighting. You're also fighting uh, all his ninjas. So, Oh, geez. Johnny mentioned ninjas. You got to mention ninjas, man. Ninjas rule. Mr. Freeze or Harley Quinn? Mr. Freeze. Mad Hatter or Rache Agul? It's, it's Rache, yeah. Here we go. Here we Mr. go. Mr. Freeze or Rache Agul? I will go Mr. Freeze on this one. All right, thankfully, I didn't have to argue with you on this, Mr. Freeze. <laughs> and then for the win, the Joker or Mr. Freeze? I am happy that Mr. Freeze made it this far. But, and I think this is a very close battle. But just based on icon status alone, if you ask somebody, hey, name me a villain in pop culture. Yeah, just, I think he's I think Joker's literally going to make top three. Easily. I think you got Darth Vader, you got Joker, uh, and, and you know, probably Skeletor. Uh, uh I'm going to Luker, Luker, Luke, Lex Luker. <laughs> I was trying to say Luger and Luther at the same time. Lex Luthor in there, yeah. too. I think he's a very underrated that, oh, yeah, been portrayed well in a lot of things other than say like the newer justice league right yeah or, uh what else was there there was something really good with him oh <laughs> yeah i was thinking oh something really good with him just recently but it was the superman movie when gene hackman played him which wasn't <laughs> that recent hackman <laughs> yeah i just keep thinking of the south park with that uh yeah the joker joker wins yeah so that is it joker for the win i think most people knew that going in but yeah it's still fun revisiting some of these uh villains and batman's rogues gallery hey i think it's more or less the smaller matchups at the end i agree yeah so but and you know, and we've proven with our venom versus jay jonah that you don't know which way we're going to go no i could i could almost your your argument was good for good old harley over Catwoman. plus two harley's always been an enemy as far as i know um even in the animated series batman sort of has a soft spot for her if but, you notice because i think he feels bad for her but, uh there's a very uh, famous episode where her and poison ivy are on a shopping spree for, yeah. it's a christmas episode if i'm thinking correctly and 
uh, Batman actually feels he actually goes out of his way to help her a lot of the times. But I'm saying though, like she's always trying to take out Batman. Yeah, Cat yeah, Woman. and Cat and Catwoman kind of from the beginning is is sort of known that she's attracted, and it, and the feelings fairly mutual. But it wouldn't be something good if we didn't. Yeah, I've never once felt like Catwoman was trying to kill Batman. I see what you're saying. Yeah, where Harley Quinn's like always because you figure if Harley Quinn kills Batman, she might get some type of reaction from the Joker towards her. Yeah. Well, he was always abusive toward her anyway, but yeah. Yeah, he's not a nice guy. No. Uh, but next week we will discuss probably briefly uh, who we think is better. And then we could probably get into the rogues gallery. Like, which one do we like more? And then, uh, I don't know, just kind of talk about more Red Batman, Spider Man. Like I said, maybe we'll get into who had the better video game. I don't know. I don't yeah, know. Yeah, I think I'll try to think. Game. I think I'll try to think of like some fun battles between the two rogues galleries. I can think of some matchups I'd want to see. Maybe book my own wrestling <laughs> hard <laughs> with uh, Spider Man v Batman rogues gallery of villains. I think that'd be kind of fun. Because then after that, we get into our Spider Man animated series. Yes. And then we're going to watch the Batman movie from 1989. But that is it. Uh, check us out wherever you get your podcast, Facebook, YouTube. Uh, these two uh, ones, the Batman Rogues Gallery and the Spider-Man Rogue Gallery, there will be video uh, posted for these as well. So check that out. Uh, I got nothing else, Johnny. Got anything? Yeah, I just want to point out real quick before we end this that you should really relish the chance to look up and catch up on all the information you can with a condiment king well or you won't cut the mustard stay cool out there